Hey everyone, Zero Jada here with the XBLA Fans channel. I'm here to give a quick taste of Stonefly, a game where you play as this little girl. And I don't mean necessarily that she's young, I mean that she is little. Uh, we are actually inside of a old log right now. We are tiny, tiny things. Uh, actually, if I run over here real quick, there's a uh, mech right over here. It's about the size of a grasshopper. Yeah, I think you get the idea. Uh, this will... Uh, Terribly colored pink and green one is the one that I've been uh, using recently or uh, I that is now mine is sort of a junker uh, The story is essentially that your dad has one of these mechs that he's real proud of It's a lot nicer than mine and uh, one night you take it out to do a task when coming home Someone spots it and they actually end up stealing it from the shed and you set out to recover it But uh, right now I'm a few missions in I'm not terribly far in I didn't want to spoil the story because it seems so far at the end of each mission uh, There's some story beats uh, but I am now trying to track down the person by their shoe prints. Uh, anyways, uh, I've kind of uh, joined up with this group here who, is he who was heading my way. And now I'm sort of trying to track down more uh, information about the person who uh, stole the mech and follow them. But yeah, uh, this is the camp. Uh, you can buy resources here, which you are actually uh, collecting throughout the levels that are used to upgrade your mech here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I wouldn't hit Y. Uh, but as you can see here, I have the mech and it has all these things I can upgrade and do. So like if I want to, uh, the way you kind of uh, battle enemies here is that you shove them off of the platform that you're on. This would allow me to uh, push them further. And I think the mech that my dad had was about this level. Uh, some of this, uh, them have to be like flipped over and uh, like damaged before you can uh, start shooting them. Uh, you can uh, increase your ability, like your speed of mining resources and stuff like that. Uh, Repair speed, you can pull stuff, you can glide, all kinds of fun stuff that I'm slowly working my way through with these resources. Uh, you can customize your hole here. I can put antenna on it or take the antenna off. You can customize the color. This is what it looks like. This is what I mine looks like. Uh, here's my inventory, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, these are all the designs I have. So as you play, you're kind of researching and doing stuff. Like as you take damage, you learn, you have more ideas about how to uh, improve your hole and stuff like that. Uh, as you repair more, you can repair better sort of stuff. It's actually really well done in a really smart way. Like some of these enemies, as I defeat more of them, uh, as I believe at least I de as I defeat more of them, I will be able to like take ideas from them and stuff like that. Uh, this here, as I'm kind of going around, I'm finding like tracks from these alphas. And from what I understand, once I get enough of the information on them, I can actually track them down and gather resources from them but we're gonna hop on out of here so right now we're trying to like just collect more information let's let's go to the nightlight village here we go so this is me let's land over here real quick yep so uh jumping and floating are your main modes of transportation uh walking not the fastest versus we upper left is my health right are my abilities uh, like I said before, some of the enemies need to be bombed, and then you land and you go whoosh, off the edge of it. I recently got this, which is a little sky dash, which makes it so I don't really have to land. Uh, but let's see. And I can mine resources. Get that one right down there. Uh, but if I hit down on the D-pad, my little scout flies come in and kind of uh, give me an idea of where I need to go. Uh, my biggest issue about this game is that once in a while I can't tell which is safe to land on and what is not. But that little dot kind of helps you out there. But like if I'm going for like a long jump, I don't always see the dot before I get there. Like this, like, oh, is this safe? Is this safe? Is this safe? Oh, this is safe. Which way are we actually going? I totally lost uh, my attention fan. All right, so we actually need to go back. Get over here real quick and yeah. But yeah, I didn't want to like get to the end of a level and it'd be like, surprise, the person who stole your dad's mech was actually your dad. Haha, -ha, this has been a test for you. Because I've done that in videos before, gotten to the end of a video and it's like, haha, -ha, here's the twist. And now we're going to continually be talking about that twist throughout the entire video or next hour of gameplay. So that's usually why I do videos semi early because I don't want that to happen again. This actually should be a perfect spot. Okay, so these rocks here usually contain goodies. If I break it, oh, hey there. 
Oh, so these guys are not terrible to fight. You just kind of got to get behind them and they'll like do whatever. Launch those guys off. Come on, you know you want to. Gotcha. Launch him off the edge there. Quickly grab all these resources while they're... He's deciding if he wants to attack me or not. I haven't really found myself wanting for resources. It's They've never been really, like, that hard to collect. Uh, get out of here. Oop. One of the recent bugs I've discovered actually charges you when you're landed land, uh, on the ground. And uh, more often than not, they just yeet themselves into oblivion. And I'm like, cool. Oop, went off to the edge. I haven't actually died yet. I don't know if you can die. I know that, um, ooh, whoa, hey there. I know that uh, certain uh, aspects of your ship or mech won't uh, function if you take enough damage. Wow. This uh, gust ability is pretty great. It, that really does send them flying. So this is actually kind of good because uh, while I'm taking damage, I am like repairing. So I am uh, actually getting that experience to get better repairs. I feel like I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed here. We might, we might just leave. Which way do I need to go? All right, cool. We're out. You can keep all that stuff. I don't need it. Like I said before, I haven't really needed too many things. Usually if I need an item, it's an item I haven't encountered yet. Music's fun too. Very much fitting what is happening here. Which way am I going? Tell me, Scout Flies. Where is the Rathalos? Yeah, but like, yeah, they very much want you to, uh, uh, fly. I need to do this more, but you can kind of... Uh, I was actually piloting a Cricket at one point. Sadly, we lost touch with Cricket. I don't know if he made... Oh! Uh, they were talking about snow earlier. So maybe this would be it. Uh, once in a while, you do encounter forced battles. And uh, they are never too hard. Again, nothing in this is too hard. Wow, this is exactly where I wanted to be. Do I leave footprints? Oh my gosh. I know I don't. Do bugs leave footprints? Ooh. Uh-oh. Woohoo. Mm-hmm. Cool, I'm stuck. I like that her uh, portrait is actually shaking because she's uh, cold. Nope, oh, these are my friends. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, so I actually asked about this, uh, someone else. So this person, you can actually donate resources. Apparently that's for, uh, certain things that you need to, like, uh, unlock and stuff like that. So nothing, I don't think there's any, like, base expansion or anything like that. Ooh. So this is actually going to introduce me to that alpha thing. But uh, I think this is neat. I actually... Uh, one of the things I really enjoy about it is this art style. And the music's really good, too. And that little mini nuke that's kind of just sitting right here. That looks like a mini nuke from Fallout, doesn't it? Also, your your character looks great. I also like the non-human characters. I don't know what this is. It has feelers, but it also has funny little feet. And I like, like, I don't know if those are shoes or anything like that. But anyways, I am Zero JD. This is the XBLA Fans channel. Thank you very much for joining me. I would actually suggest this. Uh, I am very pleasantly surprised. I was actually uh, uh, urged to look, look at that. That's like a, a beetle thing right there. I was urged by a tiger uh, who wrote a review for uh, for this to play it, and I'm glad I did. Thank you. Uh, make sure you check out that review on uh, xblafans.com. See ya.